Hello everybody, Sifter again, and today I'm gonna be playing Master Train. The game is a deck builder roguelike, and it had a big DLC launch like three days ago called The Last Divinity, but for now I will be doing the first run of the game, which if I recall should be a tutorial, and from tomorrow I will try to stream the game. If nothing goes wrong, I should be streaming for three hours, for about three hours, to unlock a bunch of stuff and start rolling through this game because the game has a progression with the races and classes and whatever you can unlock so yeah for now i don't i don't have unlocked anything but i think we will be doing that on the stream tomorrow so come join if, if it happens which it most likely will so yeah let's start the game for now and for anybody that doesn't know anything about the game i will be doing i will be explaining every single aspect of it Hopefully not missing anything. So let's start a new run here, which will thrust us in the tutorial right away. Welcome to Failure Trace carrying Fisher's Cargo, the last remaining shard of Pyre, needed to relight the fires in the depths of hell. Raiders from heaven, the winged, will do anything to prevent you from completing your journey. You must make wise decisions to build up your band of monsters to have any hope of success. Good luck, Hillborn. So we are again the bad guys. And uh, yeah, let's go to the first battle to, I guess... Start explaining some things. I'm assuming the tutorial will explain some. Yeah, I can't even choose some things that I normally could. So this is definitely the tutorial level here. Give themselves the service of the heavens and will attempt to restore the life of their companions. Yeah, okay. Okay, heavens priest. Let's see what the tutorial gives us here. Yep, protect the pyre. So this is my max HP. This is my pyre, takes too much damage from the attacks and you pretty much lose. 8 HP. These are the enemies here. Every round enemies will spawn from the very bottom. Enemies enter the lowest level and move up to the level. Yep. And if they reach the top, they damage us. These are the cards we have. Someone needs to defend your chain. You can go once per battle. So units are cards that you play once and then they are gone forever. While spells are gone from the deck, I mean, uh, for this whole fight. Not forever, forever. And let's see, what can we play here? I think I should just go here for the basics. So let's just play a Hornbreaker Priest here, which is a unit, as you see, who has armor 10, means damage to health armor, that he gets damage to the armor before he loses HP. And he has also 6 HP, and he has also, he attacks twice for 6. So let's play him here. As you see, each floor and terrain has limited capacity, the amount of space a unit can indicates by the number of pips on the card. So there are some pips, like this card has two pips, which means that if you want to play units in a, in a lane, you have to have enough pips left. So this lane can only have up to five pips of units in it, so that would be two here. And then I guess I could also play the other unit. Uh, because the front line has uh, the armor for each other, each point of armor blocks one point of damage and is then removed. So this armor will get removed later on, but for now let's play the train steward, I guess, behind him. Although I should play him in front of him, but because he has armor, I will play him behind him. I'm assuming that's what the tutorial wants. And I will also use these cards, which are 1 mana, deal 2 damage. So in the classic card game fashion, I have mana here. As you see, I get 3 mana each turn. I have 2 right now, and I also have a deck which has, which I'm drawing 5 cards off each turn. So let's use the burn here. I guess the enemy here has 1 HP, so let's do da 2 damage to it. And then he has 25, let's do 2 damage to it, and I'm done. I don't have any mana more to play. I may be over explaining things, it's just a simple card game. But better safe than sorry. Okay. I can play another steward here at the top to be able to attack him and I can also torch the healer as I did the last time and he does five so let's torch him so that he dies at the end after this fight here occurs so let's in turn and now he will attack us for two and we will attack him for six twice and for five from the back line a brief suspite, so no other enemies spawned because the next spawn is going to be the boss. Let's play another train steward in front of the other one so that he can tank the hit. And another steward on the tops just so that we have him out of our deck and in the field. And let's heal the back line. 
here. Yep. So everybody is full HP now. Restore two health and apply one region. Restores one health at the first stack at the end of turn. So this is a healing card for one mana. It pretty much heals two plus one. He's to attack her. And he got the region. Final wave. Defeat the boss to win the battle. His relentless ability means that combat will continue in this room until you or he is defeated. So because this is a boss, when I play in turn, instead of attacking me once and then going up, he will this cycle of attacks will happen again and again until some of these dies. So I will go for the damage straight up. And let's go on. Let's see who wins. So I hit him twice and then the steward and then he hits us again for four and then I again I attack him. So it's a cycle that repeats until one of the two parties is defeated. So here we won. And we get 50 gold. Uh, the pack. Ah, okay, I have to pressure collect. Got it. So this is a new unit. Uh, this is a new card we can add to our deck. It would either be this unit, which is apply rage 5 to friendly units, plus to attack per stack a return. This is nice with our multi-attacking uh, unit we have because it's going to be 5 plus 5 pretty much. Play Rage 10, the same as this but for 10 and also for 3 mana and X deal 2 damage. So you, this is you pl you use all your mana as it says X cost spends all my remaining mana to do this effect he'll do damage to enemy units. Um, well I think I will go for the fledgling imp here. And now we also got the green card. I will explain in a bit what's happening. Restore two health to friendly units and deal two damage to enemy units. That's nice. Deal three damage. Move that unit to the front. Okay, for zero, you damage somebody and bring them to the front to kill them. And apply plus three attack and plus three health. Stats change persist for the duration of battle. I think I will go for this so that I can buff my, my multi-attack unit because it's going to become plus three plus three. Because my multi-attack unit attacks twice, so this plus damage will apply twice to it. Okay, so I had the red card to choose from and a green one, as you saw. That's because in this game you choose a primary clan. And because this is the first level or the tutorial, I am forced to use the, the Hellborn, these fire and demon clan for my primary. And the Awoken, which is this green card, which is healing and more defensive stats as my allied clan. And I am getting cards from each of those clans. So here, for example, I can get the card from a unit card from uh, the, the Awaken clan I have. Merchant of Steel, forge, force your units to gain new powers. Or Merchant of Magic, forge your spells to gain new powers. Or just gold. So I have, I have to choose a path and I can either get Forge Your Spells to gain new powers and gold or Forge Your Units to gain new powers and a new unit. I'm thinking about going for the unit plus the unit powers, so let's get the unit first. These are the choices. I got a 2, uh, two pips unit with multi-strike, which is pretty decent I guess. And a 3 pips unit which costs 2 and gains revenge. When it's damaged, it gives me 1 MP for the next round, and it is a 1530, so it's pretty tanky. I'm thinking about picking this up and trying to set it up with my with my main dude. I'm not sure if the unit is good, because, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm trying things, so remove a card from your deck for 50, that's always nice. Randomize your fresh and offered goods, I don't care about this. And then I can give a unit plus 25 HP, which is a big amount, I think. Uh, upgrade a unit with plus 10 attack, also very nice, and upgrade a unit for endless. When this unit dies or is eaten, return the card to the top of the draw pile. Okay, I'm thinking about plus 10 attack on my main unit. <laughs> I cannot upgrade my main unit, so cancel that. So let's go for 25 HP on the tank here, so that he has 55. And the rest I think I'm not gonna upgrade. If, if I had picked the multi-attack unit, I would have given him the 10 attack, but I didn't pick him. So let's remove just the card, I guess. <laughs> and for now, let's remove... I was thinking about removing the healing. It's either the healing or the damage. Let's go for the damage, I guess. Change of mind. 
And let's go on. Don't want to waste gold for no reason. These spikes foes will make direct attacks more painful. Using spells from afar will let you fight without sacrificing units. Okay. Well, I just removed the spell that does damage, but... Okay, so he has spikes too, which is very dangerous for our main unit here. Of course, I will be burning him for sure. So I was thinking about a burn here. And then the tank. And... The preview number shows the amount of damage each unit will take during the next combat phase. A red X means the unit is defeated. Okay, so I take no damage here. And you come to the back. He will also not get any damage and he will get hit by 27. He has 25 armor and 5 HP so he will survive barely. And I can't play anything else so let's end the round. Turn. I will speed the game up a smidge. Now he has spikes though. Oh, he had spikes before too, right? Or is he... Oh, he is giving the spikes. Okay, so let's remove him for the spikes. Now this unit does nothing and he just does four. I cannot heal him, so let's just use the cards. There's no reason to not use the mana. I am healing him beforehand because this card also gives regen. And regen will heal him at the end of the round. So this is also calculated, as you see, with the minus two. And I also got one MP for the next round. Nice, so let's get, let's play this here, because this is not going to attack, so it's just dead. Let's play this here, because this is not going to attack, so it's just dead, and I can burn, torch him, and I'm done. So you can see, I will do 5 to him and I, it will kill him, that's why the X is here, and this, the same applies for this line. So let's continue playing the regent here, just to keep the buff up. Let's uh, have this round complete. I will slowly start playing faster. So first of all I will remove the guy who gives spikes. And as you can see the enemy has an X which means that this fight is pretty much over. So there's no reason to play anything. I don't know if there are like any kind of... Uh, yeah there seems to be an achievements but I don't know if there is any kind of I guess reward for playing cards or not. But as you can see, this fight is going... Yeah, I want to speed the game up. Use the game speed button. Yep, let's speed it a bit up. And we won. I don't know if there is a reward for playing too many cards. Three turn burn rush. Yep, and let's collect. This is the card from the Hellborn clan. As I said, you get cards from both clans you pick. Uh, apply 10 rage is nice for the boss unit, but cost 3. Apply 5 armor for 0 is okay. Um... Apply 4 Rage and 5 Armor for 2. I think these cards are all too expensive. In my opinion. So I was thinking about skipping. So yeah, let's skip. Maybe 10 Rage. So this would be 20 damage. Oh, this is actually pretty strong for, the, for our main dude. If I can make this cost less, it might be good. So let's, uh, let's pick this up to give our main unit... And restore 10 health to a friendly unit, deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to 5 times the amount healed. So this heals for 10 and this up to 50 damage. 2-2 two, two un our units and 2-2 two, two the enemy, okay. Consume, apply region 5. I think I want to try this because I have a unit with a bunch of health that I could heal. I may be diluting my deck too much, but we will see. Gain an artifact. Artifacts are pretty much deck passives. Gain another Awakened unit, and something interesting can be found. So this is an event. Uh, upgrade spells, gain a fire unit. No, I will go for the artifact. And when you draw any non-champion cards, its cost is randomized between 1 and 3. And draw three plus 3 cards each turn. Um, let's look at what's the chest. 50 chance to apply Dazed when an enemy wins your train. As long as you unit is Dazed, it can be attacked. Or use action to resolve adults. Okay, so 50% chance to stun an enemy pretty much. Can I see my deck? Is this... No, this is not my... This is my deck here. So... Most of my... Everything here costs one. Is this only for units? When you draw any non-champion card. Okay, so every card other than champion. 
Most of them cost one. I only have one card that costs three, so this is definitely not worth it. Let's go for enemies. I have a chance to get dazed. Let's get the awakened unit here. Sweep is damage everybody. Multi strike three times though. I think I will go for the animals of will in case I get another upgrade for plus ten damage, and I will just give it to animals of will if that happens. Let's go to the event. Arcane Machine peeks through the snow, mechanical arms and controls versus there, the larger hound is vaguely familiar, but you can't place what? Near the op it's a hand. Near the opening of the train, a meteor control board through the touch cleans even strange, but yep, do you press the button? Press the cut button is build a card or leave it. Let's build a card. Machimo's response, huh? What do you press? Shield, create an armor, a frostbite or a sap. I don't even know what frostbite and sap is. But yeah, because I don't know what these are, I will just get the armor. I mean, they might be better, but I don't want to make my deck even worse. So let's just get an armor card plus plus create a pull or push or ascend. Uh, let's create a pull, I guess. Shield out forward. Do you switch any of them? Create an effect that increases card draw. Create an effect that increases gold. Mm, so when I play the card, something will happen. I'm a gold guy myself, so let's go for gold. Ah, I can choose if I want to keep the card. So it's a 1 mana, apply 10 armor, pull to the front. Damage is dealt to armor before health. Wait, what? This gives 10 armor to... Wow, I build a really bad effect here. So I give 10 armor to the enemy and pull them to the front and also I gain 20 gold when I do this. I mean gaining 20 gold is pretty nice but I don't know if I will play it. You know what let's just pick the card here. And maybe sometimes I can play it just for to gain the 20 gold. So I guess this is a boss heavily armored creation. Protects the sex professor in his quest to safeguard self in the wings. Plastic seal. Constructed explosive center with damage shield. Okay. Constructed explosive center with damage shield. I like that it shows you the music. That was the strongest boss you faced yet. He moves between floors freely, but can be attacked if you clear out other enemies in the floor. Okay. The bomb has a trigger ability and will explode on its turn, dealing damage. Check the tooltip for units pure trigger icon to see the details of the abilities. So triggers at the start of this unit's turn, just despawn and deal 10 damage to your to your front unit. Yep. And he also has a damage shield. So I'm not even sure if I can destroy this in time. At the start of this unit's turn, so this explodes right away? I was assuming that this would explode later. This just it's 10 to the front unit. I do not have the tank unit in my hand. So I'm thinking about leaving the this <laughs> let this line live. And let's play. I will play the train steward plus the animus in the back line. And I will place my prince at the top and I'm waiting for my unit here to come out. In the meantime, I will do 2 damage to the spiky provider and pass the turn. This bomb explodes, yep. He spawned another bomb at the bottom, good thing I'm not at the bottom. As I said, I will play the tanky dude with my hero unit. Let's, uh, should I just chuck a... I'm not sure if I should play a train steward here, it's pretty much f for no reason. Let's uh, let's enchant the animus of will because he has more multi attack, and I will not just destroy my steward for no reason. Let's apply regent here and let's go. Okay, everything survived. Okay. So these are pretty much toast. Let's uh, first of all, I do n I can't protect him. Let's burn this. Wait. Oh no! Triggers when you play a spell on this floor. Plus one attack. 
I can still save him. Yep, now he is saved. And let's um, play the steward at the bot or protect him from some... No, I, will, I don't want to protect him from damage. Let's go like that and let's go. Yep, the reason I'm not protecting him from damage is because I want the health and because I also have the spell that says heal up to 10 to do up to 50 damage. If I draw it... So if I... Oh, I can play it to mine as well. Ooh, if I play it to mine, it does pretty much nothing and just gives me 10 MP, 10 MP, 20 gold. Okay, so let's do this. First, I will give him 10 armor. So he will pretty much do nothing to us. Then I will give him 10 damage, 20 damage actually. And then... I'm gonna... This does 10, right? Yeah, I think this steward is toast. I'm pretty sure this steward is toast. Because this is going to do 10 to him and his max HP is 8. And I cannot go through this thing. Wait, can I? Let me see. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. This steward survives. Very nice. Let's... Um Let's play an imp here. To give this turret more power. And let's go. Maybe I should have... Yeah, I should have played the turret at the top. Because the bomb was tased, dazed, it, it didn't explode. Okay, this time though, the turret is definitely toast. Because the bomb will explode for 10 damage. And the Animus is also going to die, according to this. So, you know what? Let's give armor to the steward. And let's... Yeah, now the Animus survives. The Animus already survives now. So I think I'm good to go. Let's play the steward here at the bottom, just to have some more damage going for us. Let's protect the other steward, actually. And... I think... Yeah, let's heal him up. Yep, now the backline does take no damage, so I don't think the he more healing will save him. Yep, it did not. It actually might have made it worse, so let's play this round out. Yep, the Animus did his job. The passive is already dazing left and right, so yep, this is the fight here already. As you see, I'm doing 7 to the final boss. This is a cleared room. This is also a cleared room. Let's play the steward here. And let's give permanent stats to the uh, to the to the prince. As well as heal him up as much as possible. And let's go. I know that the enemy is gaining damage the more cards I play, but overall I was healing two and he was gaining one. Okay, so that room's done. So from this room he takes 18. I can. I don't think I can make him take more. I will start setting up the top room, the top floor for a win. Just play the cards we got. Let's go. 18 is okay. I think the top should have this easily. Yep, he's dead. No reason to play anything. Let's just go. Very nice. I think it's understandable what is happening. So, let's uh, collect. We got a rare card, which is from both the clans. This, for example, is from the green one. This is from the, These two are from the red ones. From the Hellborn. Uh, Hellhorned, actually. So, let's see. Three mana, consume. Double the amount of armor on a unit. I don't... Uh, I'm not a unit. Uh, an armor deck. Uh, all my mana. Apply two times range and two times armor times rage so if I have three mana that would be like six rage and six armor and consume so it gets removed from the deck restore friendly units to full health on this is nice too but I don't think I need healing heavy I don't have units with that much HP other than the one I have so let's let's get this here okay got new units a three pip unit with 50 attack and 50 health 
So I might... Oh, it costs 4 mana though. I can't really play it. And got another multi-strike unit and another multi-strike unit. This is 15 times 2, so this is already 30 damage. So I was thinking about picking this up. Yeah, I think this is a good pickup. Otherwise, I can maybe go for this and hope I can somehow get one more mana going. I guess. Well, for now, let's go for this, which is actually playable. One plus one mana per turn. Your pirate gets plus ten attack. Your pirate, the same thing with draw and the same thing with floor room. I will go for the mana. Even though I didn't pick the, up the four mana unit, I still have the three mana card in our deck, which I'm hardly playing. So for now, let's go for this. Duplicate the card except your champion. Select and remove up to two cards. This I like. And gain an awoken unit. Yeah, I like this. I can remove two stewards. Are they not called? Yeah, I can remove two times the steward here. Train steward. And then I can pick a new unit up. And duplication is also nice. Other choice would be in 75 gold. Forge your units to make them stronger. And heal 20. Heal 20 is useless. I will go for making my deck better, etc. Let's get the, the unit first. Three pip both. This is one mana both. Same stats both. And the difference is summon gain 40 max health. Rejuvenate gain two spikes. Rejuvenate triggers when he is healed. Okay, so he is a definitely a defensive unit. I like this already. And summon gain 60 max health. So more than him. And rejuvenate. Same ability cultivate two. Cultivators increase the attack and HP of the friendly units with the lowest health by the cultivate value. With the lowest health. Oh, so this gives plus 2 attack and plus 2 health to the friendly units with the lowest health value. Oh, perfect. This is a lot better than this in my opinion. Because uh, this will give HP and attack to my hero and my hero has multi-attack because I'm thinking about... Yeah, I will go for this and I will pair it up with my hero. Or champion, whatever it's called. Yeah, it's called champion. Let's remove this two words, as I said. Because right now I have this in one floor. Three plus, plus, three plus two plus him. And another floor, floor will be him plus whatever my champion is. Or me, maybe even with the animus. Anyway, so definitely these two words are gone here. Let's remove this two words. And one more. And let's uh, let's first upgrade the champion. So I either get multi strike three, and the armor gets higher, or plus two plus ten damage whenever he does the killing blow, and also straight up plus uh, fifteen attack. Well, this is cr seems crazy good actually, but I want to even the the sleigh will trigger a bunch of times with this 25 base damage, but I want to go for the multi strike 3 just because I am going for this cultivation thing. Might be a mistake, might not. I think I will go for another cultivation. Yeah, if I duplicate two cult cultivation, I can have one cultivation thing with the animus of will. One cultivation with my leader, and then the horned warrior will be with the willing sapling. So let's go for this. Or otherwise I could... Yeah, it would be nice if this awoken hollow would be upgraded before I duplicate it, but I don't think I can do that right now. So let's go on. Oh, under good price for great risk and reward. Activate the trial will make the battle more difficult, but you earn an extra world for it. So 150 gold for um, at the start of battle, enemies' units appear on each floor, and the enemy units are uh, there. Are unit gains plus two attack. Okay, so the units that will get spawned are a two one that when they die, they give two attack to other units. Well, I think I got this. So let's go. Even if I lose some HP, 150 gold seems like a big number. Although I already have 195. Spawn the units. Yep, they are 2-1. When they die, they buff the next one. So... Well, I didn't get the combo. I guess I can play the prince at the top because he has the armor. So he will survive. 
Then I can play the revenge guy in the middle because he will take four hits and give us a bunch of mana for the next round. And the enemies on the bottom are stunned, so I might chuck a train steward here just for the fun of it and hope he dies at some point. So let's do that. Actually, I can do the same thing in the middle. No, let's let's play what I said. You come here, you come here. Yep, he won't even lose HP, it's gonna just be the armor. And you go here just to do some damage. Do I even want him alive? I think I want the steward removed. So to remove the steward I will play him here. And then I will buff one of those. Nice, now these will destroy the steward. I just want to get rid of him. Because uh, I have my team set up already. Yep, the next round I should have enough MP to play pretty much everything. Days. Collector. Extinguish. Triggers on death. Gain 75 gold. Oh, nice. So, let's play the unit I just said I want to play at the top. Let's uh, give more stats to, the, to our Homebreaker Prince here. This unit isn't even losing HP. What do you do? Resolve. Add the weight of contrition, con contrition card to the top of your draw pile. Okay. Let's buff the let's buff our main unit here, and let's gain gold. Let's torch. You have low HP. These will all die. Let's torch him. And I think that's it. I'm not playing the imp yet. I don't think even I can play the imp somewhere. Give me MP. Okay, he added the card. As the card, purge. Reserve, pyro takes 3 damage. Reserve is triggers if the card remains in the hand. So if I don't play it, I lose an MP. Uh, 1 man, 1 HP. 3 HP. Are these toast? No, they're not. What do you do? She just has armor. I think I will overbuff my Hornbreaker Prince here. Yep. And then I would like to play. I will play the. I will. I think I will play the Horned Warrior behind the Sapling Wood. And now I will not lose HP. I need some more healing in the deck because I do not have the. I cannot trigger the Rejuvenate for now. Okay, again. So this time I will heal him. Heal him again. Yep, is the cultivation even happening? Or is he cultivating himself? Oh, he is cultivating himself. Oh, he has to have more HP than the Horde Prince to start cultivating him. So now, yeah, now he will start cultivating him. Let's remove this. And I don't care about the middle. Let's continue cultivating the Horned Prince. And let's go. Now that he has regen, he will be cultivating even faster. Okay, I can do like 10. I still don't care about this line. So let's heal him for 10 and cultivate the prince. Let's burn this card. And let's give the prince a bunch of rage and an armor. Do I even need to do anything here? I don't think I need. Let's go. Some spells can only be played once per battle. Cards of consume are placed in the consume pile when played. They will not affect until the until the end of the battle. So the steward and the spikes. The steward because he's just a monster. Okay. So let's chuck the steward in here and let him just go down. And let's give rage to our main unit. And let's start continue the cultivation process here. And let's go. The reason I'm suiciding the stewards is because they're pretty much useless. Let's uh, remove this. No reason to lose HP. Let's uh, continue the cultivation at the top. Let's even give him some armor so that he survives. And I cannot play this anywhere. There is no room. So let's go.
Okay, no matter what I draw, I can play it with 7 MP. So let's get rid of these. Let's heal him for 10 to do 50 damage. Uh, I think we're done. Yeah, no reason to play anything more. The, when the boss f dies, the, the fight's over. Wow, 78 three times. We got the gold for the quest. Why is this imp not floating <laughs> like this one? <laughs> it's like, it's, it's not moving at all. Summon, deal 5 damage to an enemy unit. Summon, apply 5 rage. I think I don't have room for units anymore. So, 1, piercing, deal 5 damage twice. I think I don't need to. I, I want to get healing effects, so let's skip this. I need a bunch of healing effects now. Only, yep, a steel ench enchanter is okay. 10 damage to the front enemy unit, draw plus 1 next turn. Uh, so it's a pretty useless card for now, and then the next turn you draw one more. I think I will go for the steel and can and enhancer. Although I still need healing effects. I should stop even playing buff effects. I just need healing, nothing else. Artifact I like. Sele artifacts. So an artifact seller, an artifact, and remove two cards. I think I will go for that. Here is HP I don't care, du duplication I don't care, and an event. Yeah, no, let's go for the artifact, the free one first. Enemy units have minus one attack. It's okay, I guess. Apply days to enemy units when they enter the floor below the pyre room. So I will have dazed when they come up and then dazed at the very top again. I think... Um, I think I want to go for this. I'm not sure which is better. This might even be bad. I, no, let's, let, let's go for this. Uh, let's remove cards again. Let's remove the steward because I'm playing it just to remove it anyway. And let's also remove the one of the burns. Yeah, I want to remove one of the burns because the steward I can play and then remove it from the deck. While the torches, I really want to draw the healing all the time whenever possible. So let's remove a torch as well. I know that the torches are useful when you draw them, but for now. 520, very nice. Let's see. Pyro gets 15 attack. I don't want enemies to get in the pyro room anyway. Apply days to enemies' units when they enter the pyro room. I don't want people to go to the pyro room. Gain 7 on the first turn of battle. Uh, this actually I like, if we are a bit lucky. Let's go, let's reroll here to find something else maybe. Friendly units could plus, this I like. Your pyre starts each battle with 15 armor, I don't really care, and plus 50, 40 max HP on the pyre. Let's just get the 5 HP on all my units. And should I remove something? I was thinking about removing another train steward. I think I should remove the last train steward. <laughs> yep, let's remove the last train steward. And let's go on. Yep. Infiltrate your train, use your spells and higher floors to take them out. And higher floors? Oh, I can, I can see what they can do. Okay, so he has stealth. He has armor harvest trigger when unit dies and he has... And he's the boss. Okay, got it. Multi-strike. So on. Non-boss enemy units gain plus 6 attack. So that would be... Wait, can I see it? Okay, he normally has 7 and he normally has 5. So with the... Uh, he will go to 11 and he would go to... F 4... 13 attack. I think I got this. I think I got this. I don't even know. Let's try it out. I have tanky units anyway. Yep. The enemy have plus 6 attack. So this is pretty much nothing, right? Because the enemy have plus 6 attack. I give them minus 1. And because all my units have plus 5 attack, these three cancel each other out. <laughs> okay, first round I have a bunch of gold here, but apply right to friendly units. To all friendly units, right? I cannot even hit them, but they cannot hit me anyway. So this is pretty much a dead, uh, a dead round. Yeah, this is a dead round. So let's play the animus at the bottom. Alongside the friendly imp for tanking. Yeah, let's set up. 
You go to the top. You go to the middle. No. Uh, you go to the middle. You go to the bottom. And you play an imp here. And set up regen here. Okay, so my plan is that hopefully I draw a burn and or an tank. Okay, I didn't draw a burn, so this line is dead. I did draw a tank though, so let's um, let's play the Woken Hollow here. Yes, for sure. I cannot do anything to those. Yeah, this was definitely a mistake. These units were a mistake. But I can give him a bunch of armor. So that he survives and also kills the line. He does not survive. Well, we're toast. 12 damage. Yep. Let's hope we get the tank on the next round. For the top. I want the cultivation tank. That's why I didn't play anything. We found the cultivation tank, so let's play the cultivation tank. Let's burn one of these to protect my cultivation tank. Let's give some more each. Uh, let's see if I can actually save the cultivation tank first. Yep, cultivation tank is alive, so let's start buffing my hero. The bottom cultivation tank is dead though. Okay, he's toast. Again, the top cultivation tank is dead. Uh, can I somehow save it? I think I can. He's gonna take 15. No, I cannot. Oh, I can because it will cultivate itself. Yep. Now it's alive. And let's burn these just to protect my... You know what? Burn them as well. I don't care, you get Dane armor. Let's go. My cultivation tank is going down. As you see, that's how the pirate attacks. And again, I want to save him. You burn. You burn as well. Give this to the boss. He just does 10 damage. I think I can save the cultivation tank. Yeah, I don't need this tank. I just want to save him. Let's go. I need to set up my teams better, but this team, this enemy was pretty... These enemies were pretty countering us. Let's go for this. And let's start the cultivation going up. Yeah, you guys do you. Let's burn him. Actually, wait a second. I can gain, I can gain a bunch of mana if I play this unit. Yeah, let's play this unit to gain, to gain a bunch of mana next turn. Let's burn one of those. As well as gain the money. I want the money. Nice, we've got 18 MP. Okay, let's just play them. And we won. Let's feed even more. Wong. Okay, let's go t back to time 3. <laughs> Pick this up. I lost 40% of the score because I took damage. <laughs> Look at the same name, Scholar. Summon a turn a random consumed spell to your hand. I don't even want any more imps. Someone gained 4 MP. The 4... Uh, 4 MP, yeah. Currents with that. Deal damage to the front enemy units equal to 4 times the armor... F no. Maybe this pyro comper for more mana when I play him, but I don't even need that much mana anymore. Consume, consume, apply spikes, draw three next turn. Consume, draw a unit and apply plus two attack, plus two H, 20 HP and costs zero. Wow, this is crazy good for us at least. If, if it hits any of the multi-attack units, we are good to go. Forge Force your units to gain powers. I think I will go for this. Remove two cards, yes. And an event or gold, I know. Forge the spells, gain health. I don't care about the health. I don't think we will be going that much. So let's go to the event. 
Ah, I should have gone for the upgrades first. Because the event might have duplication. Train graveyard. Several fallen allies. No. <laughs> Which of the train spire shots do you enlighten? Upgrade a unit to 25 HP. Nice. And your pyre kills a unit. Restore 5 pyre health. No. Friendly units can plus 10 and hurtless. Cannot be healed. No, 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 no. no. This one. Lose 3 pyre health. I just lose. Okay, I think I will go for one of those. So that it has more base, base HP. So that the cultivation will have... Yeah. Base 45. So that the cultivation will start happening to the... To the ally instead of himself. Depart. Let's go for upgrade units. So we got upgrade a unit with plus 5 of attack and HP. 10, H 10 attack and endless. I think I will go for these two on the on him so first 13 attack and then hp and 5 attack so he's a bit more survivable endless i don't think i need endless who would i give endless to anyway i don't want anybody to die all the time uh let's uh, reroll a second let's see what we got going merchant of steel forge units to gain new powers and caverns and uh, pyre health Magic, and this is gold again. I'm here right now. I will go for the artifacts, because I like them. So I will go for gain new powers. Yeah, I will I will have another shop la just like this one in the next, uh, on the next fight. After the next fight, so I don't need to reroll the shop. Let's go for remove two cards. I think I want to remove the imp. I want to remove the imp, for sure. I don't want to draw the imp with this card. And let's remove, I guess, one of the burns. The way I'm playing this deck right now, I think I should remove a burn. Yeah, let's remove a burn. So that I draw this ritual every... The, the, the more burns I remove, the more other cards I draw. At least that's how I think about it. And now I have four mana, so... A boss again. Fell and her allies will add scourge cards to your hand and deck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So I should remove these fell allies. Yep. Oh, oh, two. I take five damage if I... Oh, I start with so much mana in the beginning. Yep, bye. You come to the top. You have time to get created. To get built up. And... Do I want the triple attacker on the bottom? Yeah, I want the triple attacker on the bottom if I can get him. Might as well play these. Just to have the regeneration going on. Now let's go. Okay, let's see what unit we drew. Uh, okay, so we have exactly four mana to everything. Let's see what we draw. We should draw the mana guy. Yep, here he is. So let's play the mana guy at the bottom. Let's play the multi-attack guy with him. Let's play the cultivation, the strong cultivation guy on the top. And the normal cultivation guy in the middle. And uh, let's go. Everything's destroyed. This is the only thing that survives. Everything's destroyed here, everything's destroyed here. Let's go. Nice. Right now the champion seems to be the worst of my units. Maybe I should have went with the slay, plus 10 damage per slay. I... This lane is done for free. This lane is also done. This lane doesn't care, so let's get rid of these cards and not lose HP. And let's heal 10 HP to my cultivation unit. This is where I will take my final stance. Okay, he's, he's getting hit for 45. I can even make this more. Okay, let's set him for more. this year let's uh, damage him for a bit no reason to wait for the very final stance I can attack him from from earlier oh bo bottom survived okay okay bottom let's remove this let's uh, yep yeah, let's cultivate 
I want the 20 gold, so let's get the 20 gold. <laughs> it's free real estate. Bottom are dazed. Okay. You know what? I can play the 50 damage here. To get rid of him. And cultivate the back line. Okay, let's do that. And buff up my final unit. Should I even? I can buff him as well. I can buff, I can buff anybody I want. Okay, let's buff him. Now he's gotten rid of as well. And let's continue cultivating the top. Let's two do damage. Th these are done anyway, so let's just do two to the boss and let's go. Yep, I don't need MP. Um, I continue gaining gold and setting up the final win. This is a win anyway. Yep, let's continue setting up the win in the end. Final wave. Okay, 455 damage done by this team. I think this is enough. This is going to do. Oh, it doesn't cal. It doesn't calculate. Okay, no. Let's uh, let's make sure we win in the very end. Four hundred and fifty-five is enough. Let's go. Okay, this is not a win in any stretch of the imagination. Let's do the 50 damage. Okay, let's continue this. 252. 268. Okay. Okay, this was pretty much... This was a nice amount. Yep, and let's have the normal speed here. This is a win. Let's gain the gold. Free gold. Stats. Cultivation. Stats. Damage. Done. I think this speed is okay. I don't need to be like speed uh, ultra super speedy rare pack. Let's see what we get. We get deal damage to front enemy units equal to 57 damage of MC units in the deck. None. Apply plus 10 max HP and 3 spikes for 3 mana. Nah. Consume double the amount of armor. Also not. Uh, I think I will take nothing here. The spikes is... Attack takes 1 damage per stack. But the spikes... Stay forever? I think they do. But still it's 3 mana. 3 mana is too much in my opinion. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. I want healing. So, I am gaining the plus 1 mana. I think it's time to draw cards. I don't need this because my floors are pretty much set. I don't want the floors to get... I, I will not change the floors up. I like the team I have going for us. I think I need the draw to always get some healing going mana is also good but i think i need the draw mm, i'm between the yeah let's uh, let's go for the draw let's get the artifact first to see what we get x cost gets plus three to their value when played L perfect steward know this Let's upgrade the champion multi strike four yeah multi strike four which means he attacks five times instead of three Definitely this. This will give him a head start, but this will scale so much faster with the thing we are going for. Um, let's uh, let's see what... No, the event might be duplication. Let's first power up our units. Upgrade a unit with plus 10 attack. Upgrade a unit with quick attacks before many units in combat. Wow. Yeah, let's go for this on him. And plus 10 attack on him. Yeah, we got the gold. Let's give him the plus 10 attack as well. And let's give the plus 25 max HP on the... On the MP, on the gold gainer, I think. Or on the on the second cultivator. I think on the second cultivator, 60 is high enough. Let's see if there is gonna be another shop. 
This is the one. This we are two before the final boss. So the last one is going to be remove two cards, health, forgotten bones, spells. I think I should upgrade the spells once. So I think I'm going to go to the left on the next run. Therefore, let's go for... You know what? First, let's see what the event does. Then I can come back to the shop. The Cave of Thousand Eyes. Relinquish your life or your wealth and you may be rewarded if you are deemed worthy. Pay 25 coins. 10% chance to gain an artifact. Lose 5 pyre health. Ah, let's uh, let's uh, let's send the the coins again. Yes, of course. Deal to damage whenever an enemy unit moves between floors. Okay, give it. Give it to me. And now let's reroll this. Upgrade a unit with ten health and three spikes. I like this. Upgrade a unit with seven rage. Eh. Multi strike one. No, let's give three. Yeah, let's give ten HP and spikes to him, because I try to get him hit as often as possible. And I think I will keep the other. Or yeah, I will go for the Merchant of Magic in the end, just to get some upgrades on some of my spells. So do I want to remove anything? Maybe a burn. I can remove a burn. Let's remove a burn. <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, let's remove a burn here. Although I might even need to remove the ritual of battle because even though I have four mana, I'm drawing more cards, and I want to play one, two, three, four, five, six whenever possible. I really will almost never play this, so let's remove it. Let's leave. I'm out of gold. I will gain some gold here. Yep, 400. Enemy enters with spell shield too. I am not playing with spells. I just removed another one. So yeah, damage is dealt. He has armor and zero attack. And he has resolve add the self mutilation card to the top of the draw pile. Yeah, let's uh, let's just go with this. I don't think the spells will make a difference. Or at least I hope they don't. What is this? A 7, 130. Wow. Spell shield, I don't care. And the, the thing that adds a self mutilation card to the top of the draw pile. So, first round, I have 11 mana, as we said. Let's see what we draw. Nice. Okay, because the bottom always has dazed, I was thinking of bringing the Wellspring to the middle. And to the bottom, have a cultivation group. So, Animus of Will plus the Cultivator should be the, to the bottom. Willing Splits Up Wood plus the Horned Warrior should be middle. But he has quick. Wow. This is going a bit out of hand. I don't even care about this mana gain. I'm never gaining this mana. So let's just have Yeah, let's let's do it as I said. You stay here. So when I say do it as I said, I mean do it not as I said. <laughs> let's go. I will win some of the Yep. Of course, I was expecting this. I cannot uh, destroy this with any means. Oh, I got the cultivator. Oh, nice. Let's play the cultivator here. Wait, is this the good one? Oh, we uh, both are the same. Okay. And can I cultivate this fast enough to do more damage? I think I cannot. He's go he's going to attack first for 25 and 25. 27 and 27. I think I cannot cultivate it fast. It doesn't matter. I will not use the burns anyway, so... I don't know why I'm even calculating these things. Just play a burn wherever and it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's, uh, let's burn this. <laughs> it it's going to go away. Maybe if it's days, it will not. Oh, because it's days, it did not go away. Very nice. And it even came to the front. Wow, I didn't know that. Days is nice. Let's continue with this. Let's do the 50 damage. 
And get rid of it. Yeah, let's do the damage and get rid of that. Uh, these are toast. And let's start cultivating the top. I don't even know if this is worth it. I can start. Yeah, let's uh, have him have armor. Let's go. I think I can start giving uh, damage to the to the bottom here. Nice, you guys give me MP. Love it. Okay, this. I can just do this. Fifty times three. I think I can destroy everything. Are these toast? They are not toast. They're close enough. Yeah. Let's go for the... Let's go for the one round boss kill. This. These are toast. He's going to survive. Well, I continue this. I am trying to go for the one turn kill on the boss. This is done. Um, yeah, let's cultivate the rest though. Got it. The boss is done so And let's even get the 20 gold from this. Very nice. I don't know if playing cards gives me anything, but still, let's just do it. 54 times 3. 52 times 3. Very nice. That's done as well. So, let's continue. Collect the 400 gold. Consume, apply 3 rage. 6 damage. I think this is nice. Piercing, deal 5 damage, apply 20 armor. Eh. No, I think I will get the free range. Free rage. And I'm also thinking about playing the channel song. Apply rooted one to an enemy unit. Yeah, I will play the channel song. Restore 30 health, apply 3. Ooh. Although we don't have the mana. Apply rooted one to, the, to an enemy unit. Now let's go for the channel song. I will just not play a unit to draw the channel song. So let's go for the spells, as I said. Upgrade to hand holdover. Keep it in my hand. Upgrade the spell with 10 plus 10 magic power. Upgrade the spell cost one less. Yes, give me this. Four. Wow. <laughs> uh, I don't need the gold anymore, I guess, for this. Because I want to always be able to play it. Actually, give me a second. I can give plus 20 power to one of the... Oh, this is... Wow, this will do 500... This will do 100 damage if I upgrade it. Let's do this. Let's make it cheaper. Although it just costs one. I don't even know if making it cheaper is that important. Let's, uh, let's, let's leave the cheaping away for now. Maybe I can get something better. Do I want to remove anything? Don't think maybe the torches? Let's see what else I can get. I have so much money right now. One less upgrade the spell with turn and consume. Yeah, let's do this on a torch. So it does 22 and then gets removed from the deck. Yep, I like this. Upgrade the spell to remove consume and cost one more. What? <laughs> um, yeah, maybe on the spike? Will it even cost one more? Ah, it will, um, it will remove the plus one from here. Okay. I like this. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, I like this. Then maybe make it cost one less again. Is this possible? Yeah. 
So this is okay in my opinion. And then, oh, reroll is once. Wow, I didn't know reroll was once. Well, let's remove things then. Let's remove the simple flame. And I think we're done. Maybe even remove the armor. And the 20, yeah, I don't need gold anymore. I can remove another one. Okay, uh, let's say, let's assume I play, these are consumed, so let's assume I play all these. My cards that are left are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So right now in the deck I have 9 cards. I can remove one of the restores, just to be able to draw more of the milestones and the spikes. I might as well. These cost 0. Yeah, let's restore one of let's re let's remove one of the regions. Let's go. Final fight. And what do you do? Surf will remove half of any buff and debuff effect stacks. Okay, that's really bad for the thing we are running. <laughs> Okay, as I said, I will not play every single unit. So, for now, let's have the mana guy at the bottom, as always. And my tank... Uh, should this even be in the final line? I can have him in the second line. Nah, let's have him in the final line. I like the units we have in the on the middle line. And... Yeah, you survived this, right? Drop 20 damage to him. Wait, why does he... Ah, he's stunned. That's why he survives. Okay, let's uh, let's get rid of him then. Let's get the buffs going. I might as well do this. Okay, let's go. Nice. Thanks for the MP. Now what I want is... Okay, I know what unit is left in the deck, so let's get it. Exactly. Exactly. So he's going to survive the hits from him, for sure. You... I know what... I, I want him to get buffed, so you come over here and tank. And let's do the 20 damage. Let's do the 100 damage here. Let's buff the top and heal him. I will not play the animus. Let's go. Okay, this unit needs some healing. I have a bunch of healing in the deck. Zero available. I'm not playing the animus. I don't care. Let's heal him. Let's even. These are not using it, losing HP. These I don't care. Let's heal them up. Yep, I want to keep this alive. Let's uh, let's give him this. No, 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 no. Let's give him this. Let's go. Until this combo works, I'm doing it. Stop drawing the animus. Okay, next one will definitely not be an animus, so I'm okay with that. They will not do any damage to him. He will survive. I can actually do this. Very nice. You go over here healing. And let's go. Okay, now I got this. Thank you. I think I should give this to the animals. First this one though. And then this one. Up, let's go. 
Maybe I should maybe I should be healing. Actually I think I should be healing. Okay. Let's destroy the front line. Now everything's dead here. And let's start healing this guy up. I really don't think I should be going for the bottom line. The top line is more important. I really want to be sure that I am winning this. Let's play it safe. Yeah, let's play it safe for sure. Let let the bottom line... Oh, he won't even lose HP. Very nice. Well, time to damage the boss a bit. You know what? Yeah, let's uh, let's go for the permanent buffs. This is the final wave. Okay. Are we even winning? Uh, he does not. Yeah, you know what? I'm going full on buffing my top row. I want to win. I want to make sure I win. So let's make this correctly. Let's play this here. It's okay. Let's play this. The top. How much does the middle have? Wow. Top, top, top. Let's make sure we win. I don't care about the score. I don't need the perfect. I make. I. I, I don't need. We, I don't think we can lose somehow here. Okay, you come to the middle. 600 and plus. This is 100 damage? Wow. Okay. I can all... This is 4 damage each time he gets healed, so I don't think it's worth it. I'm taking the win, I don't care. Yep. One, two, three. Maybe I could have won here as well, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's over. Let's just play everything. In the end, I was able to play everything every single round. Nice. The score. I think it's unimportant. I overthought it in the end. But, yeah. That was our first run. What is this? This is a not perfect? What is this? Ah, these are the bosses. Covenant unlocked. Covenant rank 1. The Covenant allows you to opt into a higher challenge level and start mastering cards on victory. Your Covenant rank goes up every time you win a run of your highest unlock rank. Okay, got it. Hellhound level. I unlock the new Hellhorn level, uh, which is March of the Shields. Move a unit until the front of player armor time. Okay, got it. I should phone summon abilities to regular additional time. Ooh, nice. This was nice. Level 2 cards. Impressive. Impressive. Attuned, which means multiply the effect of magic power by 5. Sacrifice an imp, deal 50 damage to the front enemy unit. Okay. And the unbroken horn conserves mana between turns. Ooh, this would be awesome if I had if I had this the, this run, it would be overpowered almost with the seven mana on the beginning. And we're also leveling up the awoken. Apply region two and spikes two. Add a copy of this into your deck card to your discard pile, but it costs two. Maybe if I get two times reduce the cost of this, it could be awesome. Not root. Friendly units get plus one per stacks of spikes. Wow, this combos with the last card. Oh, I get it. So the main clan gets all the XP and the side clan gets the half of the XP. Yeah, seems like it. About half. Awoken Hell, Awoken Hell, Hellhole Victory. Stingian, Umbra, and Melting Remnant. 
Ah, nice. It's nice that you can see everything here. Cards. Ooh, there are a bunch of artifacts. Oh, the every... Got it. Every race has its own artifacts. Covenant, Caven artifacts. Yeah, very nice. Wormkin as well. So, mastery card frames. Wow. Play three deal chances in a row. There are a bunch of things to do here in this game. Very nice. So, is this new run gonna chuck me into run right away? Ah, okay, got it. And here's the rank. Okay. So, I guess that's a wrap up for now. I'm already at the hour mark. I played this pretty slowly, but from the next run on, I will start to play this a bit faster. So, yeah, come over to the stream. Tomorrow I should be streaming this game and I will definitely be playing faster than I played now because I was going for on this for the first time and I tried to explain some things and my thought process. But I think I got this. I, I, I like the game. So if you also like the game, drop a like below. And if we gather a decent amount, then I will make a series out of this. First of all, I can stream it for starters and then I might do a series out of it. So, yeah, um, that's it. Shout out to Matterbollox for being the toppest of the toppest Patreon he is. If you would also like to support me, there will be a lo link in the description. Uh, otherwise, come join the Discord if you would like to be able to, you know, communicate with people in the community and me. So, yeah, come join over there as well. If you like the video, as I said, drop a like. That's how you show me that you want to see more of this content. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I guess subscribe. <laughs> Most of you are not subscribed, but I mostly care about having a nice experience for you people than anything else. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and see you guys around.